It's Thursday, so it's hooked on East Texas time. Plastic lures are an essential element in any tackle box, but what if they were outlawed? A proposed law in Maine would ban soft plastics, and it's got the attention of anglers across the United States and conservation groups, including here in Texas. That's what I caught my personal best on is a, a bait like this. Plastic lures are popular. Pack a punch when catching fish and have a wallop of a smell. A power bait. Oh my. See what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> fish love that smell and the action of plastic lures. It's why hundreds are bought and used every day in Texas lakes. And why a group called Keep America Fishing is pushing its Pitch It campaign. They don't want you to pitch your used lures into lakes. Instead, the group wants you to recycle them. I see a lot of people. I see a lot, and uh, I, I sometimes have to pull customers back from throwing their baits in the water. You definitely don't want to do that. Don't drop anything over the side of the boat. Don't lose any baits. Don't cut them off and throw them in the water because the bass is going to eat that and it's going to affect their stomach and they're not going to grow. Social media is full of examples of anglers cleaning fish and finding improperly thrown away plastic lures. But guides can tell a fish is full of plastics without cutting it open. We see fish, we catch them sometimes. They have a big old head, long body, skinny, skinny in the middle. Something's wrong with that fish's stomach. It happens in crappie too. When I see that, I hope they're long enough that we can take them out, you know, and just go ahead and fillet them and get them out of their misery because that fish is starving to death. Fish will eat the discarded baits, but that's only part of the problem. Plastics expand the longer they are in the water. It might be this big originally, but then when it gets in the water, it, it blow up like this big. That's why anglers like DJ Myers urge recycling the old plastics. Chances are there's a lure company that can use them. Throw them in the bottom of your boat, put them in a plastic bag of some sort, and recycle those. And those guys from those different lure companies will take all those, they'll melt those back down, and they'll make different color worms and everything else. One of those lure companies is Cream Lures here in Tyler. This is just one idea they have for recycled baits. Let's say I had somebody send me a bunch of plastic in a you know, flat rate ship box, 10 pounds, and credit them 50 cents a pound towards buying plastic lures in our, you know, or whatever in our catalog or online. That is a great idea, and the key here is to get folks kind of thinking in that direction, that making them have a habit, and thinking about the habit of recycling those soft plastic lures and not just tossing them away.